for our student athletes that are not coachable, that can be a big time disservice for our coachable student athletes. And to again, provide a little bit more context there, let's think about some of the things when it comes to that uncoachable student athlete, someone who's going to be that, that person complaining, someone who's going to be that person not listening, someone who's going to be that person who's not getting their absolute all out of practice. That is very daunting to the student athlete who is, right? Very daunting to the student athlete that's looking to see exactly what that coach is addressing to the team, seeing what they're saying. But instead, you may hear that uncoachable athlete chattering in the background. You may see some of those emotions um, non-verbally or verbally, like eye rolling from that non-coachable athlete. And again, regardless of good or bad, it can be contagious. So understand, even as an uncoachable athlete, that can be contagious and that can be a contagion, rather, when it comes to your entire team, but the same for the coachable student athlete. Those that are looking to put in the work, those that are looking to, again, give that coach the respect that they deserve, those that are looking to be the best version of themselves every time warranted, that can be contagious as well. And that can absolutely rub off on other student athletes, other teammates, and that collectively is what you want your whole team working towards.